Welcome to Imgigo and it's a use tool that enables users to make complicated addition on their images simply by clicking some buttons on their mice. Basically there are three features. The first one and the most important one, the power mosaic, which enables users to generate a mosaic image based on the given target and the elemental images. The other two enable users to make further addition on vibrance level and the add features on their images. Um, let's start from the first one. When you click the power mosaic, the instruction will show up. Basically, there are three steps. Select target images, select elemental images, and then select match model. Target image is the image that uh, power mosaic is going to mimic, and the elemental images will become mosaic elements that finally compose the mosaic image. Okay, let's get started. Firstly, um, Pick a target image. If the the image you select is too small, a message box will jump out and remind you that if the target image is too small, the final mosaic uh, image will be too fuzzy to see any elemental images. The rec uh, recommended size of target image is 800 times uh, 600 pixels. So let's pick a bigger one. And then user can select the match model. There are two match models. One is best match, and the other one is evenly distribution. The first model will analyze each elemental image and match the most uh, suitable one to each different color zone of the target image. Under the evenly distribution model, MGGO will assign uh, each elemental image to target image evenly. No matter whether it's best suitable or not, Later, I will show you the difference uh, between these two models. After that, user can select elemental images. Technically, uh, user can select as many images as they like, as long as there are uh, the target images can contain that much pixels. However, the more elemental images, um, the longer processing time it takes to generate the mosaic image. Anyway, I will select all of them. After all, MGO, uh, MGO start to work. Here we can see the processing bar which is being filtered when mosaic image is being uh, processed. So user can uh, know whether M MGO is working or not and know how much work it has been done. During this time, in order to prevent uh, misoperation, if user click the start again, a uh, message box will jump out and remind the user that previous work haven't been done yet and that the two will not start again or crash. When possessing a, a thousand and twenty-four times seven hundred sixty eight target image uh, with five elemental images, IMG go takes about twenty five seconds, which has outperformed many commercial software in terms of speed and quality, like Easy Mosaic. After some seconds, um, images are being processed, and the preview are shown here. If a user is uh, satisfied with the work, he can click OK, and then a full-size mosaic image will be shown. So user can save the mosaic image. Also, we can try another model, the evenly distribution. It takes the same step, and then MG go start to work. Uh, on the evenly distribution model, uh, it works faster because computer doesn't have to analyze each elemental image and find the best suitable one. So it takes about 19, uh, 19 seconds to finish the work. After that, it is done and the preview image will be shown at the same place. Also, uh, by the same step, um, Possess uh, mosaic image can be shown and saved by clicking OK. And uh, this is the mosaic image. It looks pretty fuzzy. That's because when you zoom in, you can see these images composed by thousands of much smaller elemental images. Later, 
I will show you the difference between the mosaic images generated by different models. Before we are going to have a comparison between images generated on the different model, we can have a look at the target image. Here's the target image, the falling water. Here we can see on the different model, the effect of mosaic image is different. The image on the left side is generated on the best match model, while the one on the right side is generated by evenly distribution model. We can see the rendition of color of left image is um, more precise than the one on the right. However, personally, I prefer the one on the right because it looks more like an artwork rather than a mathematical result. To see the result, I generated a two bigger size mosaic image before the demo, so we can save some time. Here are the images, um, which look the same as the smaller one, but their size are about uh, 4300 times 2800 pixels, and the size about uh, 40, 34 megabits, so we can see more details of the mosaic elements. When we zoom in these two images, we can see the one on the best match model use same elemental image for similar color zone. Because this image is the most suitable one for this color zone. On the other hand, elemental images are evenly assigned to different color zone on the um, evenly distribution model. That's why their patterns look so different from each other. Besides generating mosaic images, IMGGO can also edit the vibrance level and add filters to images. When click vibrance, instruction will be shown on the right side. It's also pretty simple to use. Just click star, load the image, and then user can use the control on the left side to change the vibrance level of the image. If the user want to go back to the ori original image, he can simply click the reset button and all go back to the beginning. The operation of adding filters is also similar. Click filters and then start loading images. It takes some time. And then filter option will be shown on the left side. So user can choose or unchoose the filters uh, he want to add. Also watch and save the full side image by clicking the OK button below the preview. And uh, that's all of IMG Go. Thank you. Hope you enjoy it.